So choosing your medical specialty, probably one of the hardest things to do for some people. Some people go into medical school and know exactly what they want to do. Other people were born to be orthopedic surgeons. They come out of their mom's wound and it's like, hey, I want to do ortho. Uh, other people, they decide upon certain specialties uh, not until their third or fourth year of medical school, like me. In this video today, we're going to be reacting to why I didn't ortho. Let's check it out. So this is a video by Kevin the Jabal uh, about why he didn't choose orthopedics. And certain specialties are not for everyone. Uh, you know, plastic surgery just wasn't for me. And real quickly, the reason why, I didn't really like the, everybody thinks about plastic surgery, they think about the cosmetic aspect of it. And when you think of a plastic surgeon, oh, you're doing these boob jobs, BBLs, rhinoplasties, tummy tucks, and all these things. But there's a lot of other things about plastic surgeons that they do, like hand surgery, especially during their training. You get exposed to hand surgery, you get exposed to various aspects of like uh, flaps, muscle flaps, transferring muscle and different parts of the body to another part. So when a patient has a large wound in the hospital that is unconstructible, and let's say a patient came in on trauma, they have a large open tibia fracture where their skin loss is very large, well, we, we call plastic surgery. I didn't want to be that person as a plastic surgeon that's responsible for uh, you know, being called upon when there's soft tissue loss and you have to manage this. So, but there's certain things about every specialty. Some people think, man, uh, orthopedics, they do too much manual work. I don't want to do that. So it may be one or two reasons why you didn't choose a specialty, but we're going to react to this video here um, and uh, let you guys know what I, what, what I think. Let's check it out. Here's why I did not do orthopedic surgery. Now this series called Why I Didn't is my subjective experience of a specialty, what I liked, what I didn't like, why I did not choose it in the end. My step score plus my bench wasn't over 500. <laughs> Big myth that people think that you have to lift all these weights, you have to be a certain physique, you have to look a certain way to go, to go into orthopedics, but that's not necessarily always the case. I just released another video of So You Want to Become an Orthopedic Surgeon, and I'll put that right up here, but myth debunked, as uh, Kevin kind of talked about, uh, not necessarily true. So what I liked about orthopedic surgery, let me start by saying it's an appealing field to a lot of people because it's so easy to understand. Any lay person knows what orthopedic surgery is. It's the bone surgeon, right? They understand what a skeleton is. When you look at other surgical specialties, you look at vascular or you look at plastics, it's not as easy to understand what those surgeons actually do. And because orthopedic surgery is more straightforward and saying, hey, like you got a broken bone, we'll take care of it. I think there's a certain draw to that just by familiarity, just by understanding. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with that. You know, orthopedics, everyone kind of knows what orthopedics is. But if you mention, mention like what is a nephrologist, most people will probably know what that is or gastroenterologist or a pulmonologist, which is a lung doctor. Uh, but there's so much more that we do outside of just broken bones. Spine surgery, a uh, patient has a disc herniation or cervical stenosis, which is tightening of the, the spinal cord in your neck. Or if a patient has like, like a carpal tunnel syndrome in their hand, we can do carpal tunnel release. If a patient has ACL tear, uh, hip arthritis, knee arthritis, a tumor in their bone, so depending on what your subspecialty is in orthopedics will dictate what type of patients that you see. But it's just not all just broken bone. I see a bone, now I fix it. <laughs> it's not all about that in orthopedics. With most other surgical specialties, maybe neurosurgery is similar to ortho that a lot of people just get what it's about, at least for the most part. They don't understand all the nuances and all the different subspecialties and the fellowships, but they kind of get the idea. Most other specialties don't have that. So in plastics, for example, people will think of aesthetics primarily. They'll think of breast dogs, they'll think of rhinoplasties. And that makes sense. That's what the lay person is usually exposed to on TV shows or just on media overall. Whereas a huge part of plastic surgery is actually complex reconstruction. I had no idea about the complex reconstruction until medical school, for example. So this quote from So You Want To Be kind of sums up the stereotype. The stereotype is if you say dude frequently, can bench at least two plates and are prone to fist bumping over handshakes you may be an orthopedic surgeon at heart. With that said, anyone can be an orthopedic surgeon. That's true. Anyone can be an orthopedic surgeon. One of my chief uh, residents when I was, I think a junior resident, 
was this girl, she was like 5'4", she had to weigh no more than 120 pounds, and, you know, she was in the ER, along right with us, you know, doing these heart reductions, jumping on top of patients and reducing their bones, so, um, you know, anyone could be the orthopedic surgeon. I, I wanna uh, really highlight kind of what he said there. The stereotype I don't fully relate to, I'm not super bro, I don't bench two plates, but I did love this like concrete nature, the mechanics, the physics, like physics was one of my favorite science subjects in high school. And the other cool thing about the specialty is that when you see a problem in a patient, you can usually fix it. It has good outcomes and that is something that I learned really matters to me. I agree, a patient comes in with a, let's say a hip fracture, um, they can't walk because they can't place weight on that leg. Well, I could take them to surgery and fix their hip that same very day and the next morning they're up walking again. So, um, or if a patient comes in with a large disc herniation and have weakness in their foot, um, I can take that patient's surgery and take the pressure off the nerves or the spinal cord and that patient will be up the next morning, hopefully without pain. So, uh, very gratifying specialty. Another thing people usually like about ortho is compensation. They are very well compensated. It's usually Neurosurgeons number one, and then usually orthopedic surgeons number two. So they're making like 500K a year. It's good money. Yeah, and that depends on what part of country that you're in, what, what practice type that you're in, if you're employed versus private practice versus academic. And I have several videos about the compensation of orthopedic surgeons, and I'll put that right up here. And then of course, if you wanna do something that's more higher adrenaline, you can go into trauma ortho. If you wanna do something that is a little bit more nuanced and smaller anatomy, then you can do hand, which was what I was drawn to. Although you should note that if you go into hand after ortho versus going into hand after plastics, you're going to be, there's a lot of overlap, but ortho hand is a little bit more bony, obviously, and, and plastic hand is a little bit more soft tissue focused. So what I did not like about ortho and why I didn't choose it, I rotated on ortho in my third year. So I was deciding between plastics, ortho, neuro, and I love the people. I thought most of the stuff we were doing was pretty fun, but ultimately I just didn't fall in love with the specialty. And I think that comes down to a few reasons. So one thing is actually, I felt it was very straightforward going from diagnosis, you know, with some radiographs, some imaging, to then treatment plan, which is usually surgical. And in terms of the surgical options, there was usually just one or two. And again, this is from my very brief experience with orthopedic surgery, but it didn't seem as like complicated or challenging intellectually as what I wanted. And obviously you have to be very smart to go into orthopedic surgery. You have to score really well. It's one of the most competitive specialties, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm saying the actual work that I was seeing wasn't as like, oh, let's weigh the pros and cons of this modality versus that modality and this surgical technique or intervention. It seemed a little bit more just cut and dry, straightforward. And there's nothing wrong with that, right? But for me and for my personality, it didn't seem as stimulating intellectually. Well, some of orthopedics is that way. A lot of orthopedics, especially in spine surgery, the reason why I love it is because um, there's 10 different ways you can do something. I can go on the front of the patient's belly, diffuse their spine, I can go on the side, I can go on the back, I can go obliquely, I can just put screws in, I could just do a decompression, or I can just do nothing. So we, I really weigh the pros and cons with the patient and have a discussion like, hey, these are your options, this is what I recommend, and then we come together in a shared decision-making manner. Well, other specialties like, let's say, hip and knee replacement, patient has arthritis, boom, knee replacement. No, that's not necessarily true all the time. You can do a meniscectomy, go in and clean out the meniscus, which, you know, some reports came out saying that it's kind of like sham surgery. Uh, you can do injections into the knee, uh, you can do pain medications, but yeah, for the most part, I mean, knee arthritis, hip knee replacement, hip arthritis, hip replacement. And some people like that, being very repetitive every single day. They may have six knee replacements one day, six uh, uh, hip replacements the next day. That's why I didn't choose joint replacement surgery to do as a subspecialty, just because I needed something a little bit different each day. And although they do some revisions and some other types of major reconstructions, I thought joint replacement was pretty much straight to the point. And uh, that's why I chose spine surgery. So kind of tied to that is the medical management or rather lack thereof. And this is something I felt kind of torn over because on one hand, I felt like, you know, you work really hard to get an understanding of medical management in medical school. And then in a lot of surgical specialties, you really don't focus on that much anymore. And you kind of lose it. So there are some specialties like neurosurgery where you do a lot of medical management, you know, in the ICU, for example, but in ortho and plastics too, there, there isn't, really isn't that much. And there was times when I really, was bummed out by that, but then also times I was like, oh, this is so much simpler, so much easier. 
I agree. Some people are comfortable losing that, that skill set. I don't want to manage a patient who has diabetes, uncontrolled high blood pressure, and then in the hospital, you're managing, managing all these things. So as a surgeon, you know, I focus on the surgical aspect and I have a hospitalist or internal medicine doctor kind of managing everything else. And yeah, that's one thing. Some you go to medical school, you learn all these things and all of a sudden, you know, you just <laughs> don't want to deal with it anymore, which is totally fine. Some people enjoy doing it. I don't really care, care to manage those things, those medical conditions in the hospital. Let someone that is trained to do that, that that's their particular job, that's how they do, let them do it. They're, they're better at doing it than me titrating insulin in the middle of the night trying to get a patient's glucose down. No, that's not what I want to do. And then the last thing that I do mention a lot is the level of like precision versus crudeness. And ortho is, it's often compared to carpentry, which I don't think is necessarily a fair assessment, but like for those who aren't familiar with the specialty, I think that's a good way of kind of approximating like, okay, you're doing large kind of gross interventions rather than something that's like super meticulous, super precise. It's not oh, what orthopedics is. It's a very precise and a very, there's a very precision, uh, meticulous type surgery. Like today, I'm about to go do a lumbar laminectomy, which is taking the pressure off of the spinal cord and nerves. That's very delicate sur surgery. You can't go in like, uh, you know, I'm pounding away at a hammer or a mallet and trying to fix someone's bone. Well, a lot of times I, I use surgical loops. Uh, they magnify so that I can see very small things. Like the, the nerves in your, in your body, like if I'm decompressing a nerve, it's probably uh, about half the size of this, this pin right here. So um, you have to be very delicate with it. You have to be very meticulous and um, it, it's very precise surgery. Uh, versus like doing a knee replacement. I'm constantly moving back and forth. I'm hitting, I'm pounding, I'm sawing, using a drill. Zzzz. And then uh, when I do a spine surgery case, you know, I take my time. Sometimes I'll use a microscope to come in so I can very uh, see what I'm doing. And uh, so it's different types of surgeries. And I, I enjoy that mixture of it going from one uh, where you're playing like heavy metal and, uh, you know, e EDM or really hard music to going to playing like some classical music when you're doing spine surgery. So I enjoy that. So those are the reasons why I didn't choose ortho. I'm sure that for a lot of you, you probably can't relate to those reasons, right? It's like, why does this guy care about precision or meticulous? Why does this guy care about medical management or whatever? And that's the cool thing about choosing a specialty. It's so personal and based on your own idiosyncrasies, your own quirkiness, your own interests, you can find a specialty that is best suited for you. I definitely agree. So. Ortho is not for everyone, even though it's the best specialty that's out there. So don't let any other specialist tell you that their specialist is, specialty is the best. Ortho is the best. Um, and you got to find out what you love to do, to do. Think 10 years down the line, 15 years down the line. What do you see yourself? What, what's going to make you happy and fulfilled? Every specialty is going to be busy. Every specialty has their pros and cons. There's things I don't like about orthopedics. Maybe I'll talk about that in another video. but. Um, overall, I think it's a great specialty. I think you should consider it. I think if you're a medical student, resident, or <laughs> hopefully if you're not a resident trying to decide upon orthopedics, although there are some residents that have switched specialties. Um, I knew a resident that was at Baylor who switched to radiology from orthopedics, like in his second year of residency. Uh, there's a radiologist who switched, who switched to another specialty. So um, it is possible, but I, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that necessarily, unless you get into residency and think that hey I, I hate doing this i don't what was i thinking and then you want to switch but some people do that but overall orthopedics great field lots of different things that we do you can go into sports medicine hand surgery oncology joint replacements trauma spine surgery so um but yeah this is my reaction my response to why didn't i ortho and um, let, me, let, let me know what you guys think. Put it in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.